I am feeling so cold. This is how I'm vibing right now. These warm, warm socks and these slippers. And you saw earlier how horrendous the weather was. And it looks like it's going to pour down. The weather looks horrible. Horrible, I tell you. Horrible. Okay, so I'm breaking out the Acne Pimple Master Patch by Cosa Rex. I haven't broken this out in a while. Uh, because my pimples haven't been as bad or my spots but now they are cr going crazy right now because it's that time of the month and I've got about three four spots that just look absolutely horrendous so one of them I think is ready to like pop so I'm just gonna put one of these on there shall I open it and show you guys what it looks like okay so this is what they look like. I have used a couple before. I just like to... Actually, I might put on a big medium size when I put one of these bottom ones on. And they just look like this. And you just put it over your spot. And it should suck up all the nastiness and get rid of it. Help get rid of the um, bacteria from the spot. Let's do it. I'm trying to do this in a way so you can't see my hair. But I hope you guys can see that pimple patch. I've just put it on. Right underneath my hand. And if you can't see it, it's okay. Okay. I'm going to bed now. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. I've spent the majority of today working. I had a meeting, so I just put on some like casual joggers. Like, you know, trying to act like I'm cool, but I'm not. But I don't know what it is. The weather's been so horrible today as well. It's been really windy outside. Even though the sun's been showing its face, it's it's just, it's deceptive. So I spent the majority of today working and yeah, I think I'm nearly, I can see the like the silver lining. I can see it coming up soon. Um, I'm nearly like finished with my work, but I've got to go to work on Thursday. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Um... I, it's, what's the time now? It's nearly 8 o'clock, so I'm just going to have to go downstairs. We don't even know what we're eating today. I have absolutely no idea. Um, I've barely been vlogging the past three days, so it's going to be bits and bobs. Um, and, uh, I have got a vlog coming up today, though. There is a vlog that needs to go up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's vlog. And if you haven't already, subscribe. So you kept us to date with all the videos I post. And, uh i got nothing else to say except for my room my bed is a mess because i've been working on my bed all day today didn't decide to sit on my chair my bookshelf is popping but then i've got like some books here that need to be uh given to charity but obviously charity shops are not open yet and uh yeah these are my jogging trousers well can we just call these like a casual day of clothes today because i was feeling really cold that's the only reason why i wore these on today Okay, I'm going to go and see what I need to do downstairs. I've got a banging headache. Well, that's fine. I will see you downstairs. Let's go. Probably do some of the fun afterwards, hopefully. Never know. Never know with me. I'll tell you what I do now. We are definitely eating these today. Mini rolls. I bought these from Asda. They were super cheap for some reason, like 80p or something. So this is dessert. So dessert sorted. Uh, let's go see what else I'm going to make. Okay, I'm just putting these Asda cheese and onion pasties into the oven. I've got six of them. Everyone's probably just going to have half, half each. I've just put hash brownies on, so it looks like we're going to be having frozen food today. We have fish fingers. Those are from Iceland. Vegetables. Uh, fries. Oh, I'm going to put those back when I have those. So guys, this is what I'm having for iftari. We've got a bit of chicken burger, uh, pasty. I'm trying to like eat my fruit right now. Fish fingers, chips. It's just basically like English style dinner. I'm trying to use up stuff from the freezer. Fish and uh, black pasty, a questionable pasty. So <laughs> yeah, have any of you guys tried these McCain chips? Quick chips. You put them in the microwave. They're actually quite good. Um, it's a genius idea with the box, but uh, when I was growing up, I used to want. I used to see the adverts of this on the TV and always want to try it. Then we finally got some, so that reminds me of my childhood. Okay, I'm going upstairs now. Oh, for dessert, my mini roll, and yeah, I'm going upstairs. See you later. Okay, guys, it's my monthly cleanup of this table. You will never ever see my table without a 7-up can. You know why? Because my husband works at a restaurant and 
He always brings me seven ups. <laughs> Watch this, this is worse. It was the biggest mistake of my life getting rid of the inserts in my drawers. So I'm going to have to do something about this. This is terrible. I can't even see anything. I would struggle to just get my base makeup out of here. So you can you see, this is from yesterday. Literally, these are the four products I used yesterday. And so I'm going to sort this out. Let's do it together. I want you guys to sort out your vanities with me as well. And let's make things beautiful. Let's do it. I can't believe I found this after ages. This is basically a tin that I've I had years ago, and I used to show all my pins in here and my bobby pins, and like literally sewing these um, these pins as well. I can't believe it. I cannot believe I have this. I'm gonna pop my other ones in here in a bit. One of my brushes broke. Yesterday, as I was pulling a different brush out, I can always fix it with a bit of glue. Um, but I actually do like this part of the brush, I don't like the other part of the brush, and I wish just keep it like that. As I was giving mini rolls out yesterday, I saw these boxes that the mini rolls came in, and they're actually quite sturdy, so I'm going to use these again and use this one if I need it, take it out of there, and you know. Eat the chocolate safe for later. Okay, let's get to the draw now. The draw business is the worst business. Hi Allah. What am I gonna do with this thing? Okay, so all I'm gonna do is just separate everything into their pile. So I've got like foundations and primers together so I can gauge how much of what each item I have. And so far I have four primers in this drawer. Why is the question? Four powders. I have four foundations. I tried this, I'll actually try this on my face today. This, these are the, well this is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. Does anybody remember when this came out? Uh, I don't even know if it did well. This is in the shade Bare Satin, so I don't even know if it's going to be my shade. But it comes like in this cool little um, squirty tube. Not not squirty tube, this little dropper thing. Um, so I can't wait to try that actually. I remember putting that in the other day when I was sorting out my other drawers. I found it, I came across it. This is the worst primer I've ever tried on my eyes. It's supposed to be a glitter primer. And I tried this over eyeshadow, like I'd had like a base shadow down on my eyelids. I don't know if you guys can see. I'd had a base eyeshadow down on my eyelids and then I applied this on top and it literally just got rid of the whole. It was so watery, it got rid of the whole eyeshadow off my eyes. So I this was from a brand called Han Diane and I bought this from AliExpress and it's terrible. Won't be using that again. There's my sharpener, I actually need that. Okay, I have this Primark Solid Brush Cleaner. I need to actually test it out. It looks really good. I'm gonna do a whole Primark uh, brush cleanser a testing video because I've got this and I've got something else as well. Okay, this is the current state of affairs. I have all of my applicators here in this pot. I have like my, in my uh, remote control and scissors here and USB and then I've got my eyelash curlers and these are all samples on the sides my sharpeners and this is like an eye oil that I bought from a um, kind lady at a I don't know, at an event uh, I don't know what her name is and I can't remember if I do remember I'll link it down below and then at the back I have a tiny ring light and this palette 
still gonna keep that at the back oh there's another thing yeah this eye primer by w7 is horrible too it's terrible don't get it right we have powders here there's a whole pile of powders probably about 10 there that don't need to be here foundations again maybe 10 primers there's a lot um these are all correctors there's far too many correctors for me to try in one go uh, mascaras blushes are fine there's only three there uh, contours that's fine there's like about four products two cream and one two cream and two powders uh we have highlighters too many eyeshadows eyeshadow pencils uh a lot of brow stuff i have a pack of lashes here and lash glue because i've been testing using lashes again and yeah i think and then a couple of lip products not too many because i've already put all those away so let's sort this mess out now and organize them back into the drawer so i'm going to use two of these boxes probably to use like the most used items will they, will they go in here so i th i'm thinking base products because that's what i reach for the most on a daily i don't need this many powders in here so i am i do want to try the h&m powder so i'm foundation it says it's an immaculate compact foundation so i'm going to put that in there and finish up my innisfree one and then keep my MUA base powder in here because that I really need to I really need to finish that and get rid of it. So that's three products I'm gonna keep in here along with my banana powder because I do need that. So that's four products right there. These can all go back now. Let's move on to foundations. I am currently really liking my Avon color extra lasting liquid foundation. I'm gonna keep that in there. I keep this sleek bare skin foundation in here because it's a dark shade and I always kind of need that to make my foundation dark and then I've got too many of these that I need to try and use ah I need to finish this off I'm just gonna put it in here to finish it off I want to try this bare minerals bare skin thing so that can go in there that's it and the rest can go back oh I do need this white color corrector in here though and my yellow one elf one I can't live without that and then these four can go back okay blushes obviously what comes next after this i've done powder i've done foundation concealer i have too many correctors i'm just going to keep the two from freedom that i need to finish up um yeah peach one and a green one the rest can go back i don't need this many out oh i do want to actually keep this one in because i barely use it i need to try and use it more often it's the maybelline master camo color corrector and then my concealer obviously of choice is the makeup revolution concealer define in shade c10 that's like practically the only concealer i ever use oh and this maybelline one because i need to finish it off it's the maybelline the erase eye i'll use this for when i need to brighten so those two work really well together and then primers i'm currently really liking the face studio prime by maybelline so i'm gonna keep that i think um yeah so i've kept the maybelline uh face studio primer in here and i do want to keep this one because i like this one for on the go it's not as good um at um reducing the look of my pores but it's all right if i keep that in there and one last thing i need to keep this because i can't live without this look at how much i've used this is the primer glow iridescence primer it's really good at hydrating don't know what it is i just love it and i love the color it makes me happy um i'll keep my benefit mini professional in here the mini one and i'll put the big one away um so all these primers can go now moving on to contour i'm gonna keep these contour powders in here they're fine to me maybe i might switch them up and use something else but those are fine they can stay blushes these blushes can stay because i really do like these blushes we have whoops lasers. don't make a sneaky entrance in there please we have this one from 3ce um, i don't know what the shade is but that's what it says on the back it's just a peachy coral blush it's really nice this maximal one is a really nice peachy color i just love peachy blushes this one is in the shade 
nectar and then this is one of my favorite this is the primark floral days blusher and i love the packaging as well i'm just sad because i'm ruining the flower pattern in here so that is probably my bases. I just haven't included the highlighters in there, but that can just go in the corner over here. So highlighters, I have far too many here. I'm currently trying to use this bronze goddess one. Whoa, everything's going crazy. Um, I'm currently using this bronze goddess Estee Lauder um, highlighting powder. I do like it, it's just a bit dark. But I'm gonna keep that in there because I only used it for two days then i have the choice of wow there's a lot of highlighters here i have a choice of these five highlighters i am probably going to keep the benefit whatsapp powder sorry it's a, it's not a powder it's a cream and then i think that's it because i want to see how these two work together that might be a good idea so let's get rid of the rest we've finished powder should we go into eyeshadows now i hate eyeshadows because i have too many to try out okay this elf one can go back yep that one can go back this spring fling one i used it a couple of times can go back in my drawer this abh eyeshadow i sound bougie saying that um i need to put that in a pan or something but it's a really pretty color that is smashbox you have been chosen i will keep you in here the huda beauty ones i can't live without them but i'm going to be honest i've been using them for a while because they've been like cluttered underneath i shall keep them in there although the coral although the coral obsessions is a bit like the smashbox one amber passion powder by primark i have loved this to death and used it to death as well it's disgusting it needs a bit of a clean Okay, what I'll do is I'll put these three away because I really want to reuse the MUA palette again. So I'm going to keep that in there. Yeah, does that sound good? And then I'll keep my Gigi Hadid on because it's got like pinkier tones in there. These three can go. I have some face palettes here that I'm just going to put away because I've noticed when I have these, like this I haven't used for a while. And these palettes are the ones that I'm reaching for and I'm not reaching for my individual ones and I really want to do that. So these can go. These mini eyeshadows okay right this this cream eyeshadow by CY I still need to test I want to do a CYO video um, but I think I'm just gonna put all of them all no I'll keep these two elf um, I should I'll keep these two elf eyeshadows in here because I really need to try them out and use them when I empty that mini eggs mini when I empty that mini rolls box i'm gonna put my eyeliners and stuff in there so i have a cream eyeliner that can go here and a pencil liner oh and some liquid ones these two are my favorite although this is a brand new one and i haven't used it i have used like two of these finished up two of these this is my third one i haven't actually opened it because i want to finish the makeup revolution one off first so i think that is enough mascaras these are there's just four mascaras in here i'm trying to use up so that's fine they can stay i'll put them here on the side what have i have got left oh my eye primer i need that the one i'm finishing up and then brows i am using all of these pencils so they can stay they're my favorite ones and then lip products I need the lip balms. These lip products can stay in here because they're the only ones I'm currently using at the moment. Okay, I think that is about it. And then I think that's about it. So this is what my drawer looks like. So there's my powders and concealers. There's my foundations and correctors, my primers. I have my blushes, my bronzers, or contour creams. We have my highlighters, eyeshadows, eyeshadow pots lipsticks eyebrows eyeliners as well on the side and my lash curlers and yeah that's an overview of what it looks like after i like it so i can put all these away okay i hope you enjoyed that little segment of clean with me clean my vanity with me if you liked it please give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you kept up to date with any videos i post that way you don't miss me 
and you can and that way you don't miss me and you can find me easily so yeah and i wouldn't want that to happen so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye I actually wonder sometimes because my lens of my camera I actually don't touch so I don't understand how it gets greasy guys look how gorgeous that Sun looks hitting that window can you see right there I wish I could show you under the curtains but I can't bother to get onto my bed my messy bed these pillows always come down because I have a silk pillow underneath and then everything else just tumbles down as well when i'm sitting on the bed but um i wanted to ask you guys something do does any of you guys have this issue when you wear mascara on one of your eyelashes one of your eyes the eyelashes look pretty good and on the other side you literally look like you have no eyelashes so like if you look at my face right now you could probably see that i have eyelashes they're, they're more prominent on this side compared to this side my right side eyelashes drive me nuts no matter how much mascara i put on them and then on top of that i've just killed them and it still looks like i've got no eyelashes so have any of you guys got that issue if you have let me know i'm just editing my video i'm not going downstairs for iftar today because we're just making burgers and you don't need everyone to help for that so i'm staying in my room i was thinking about skincare today buying some skincare seeing what i should invest in but i've realized that i have about four eye creams i need to use up so i don't need to buy any eye creams i just want to get myself a new toner not toner a new serum because the serum one i'm using is from b basically i'm getting to that point in my life where i'm thinking to myself wait well, hey, are your skincare products even hydrating you enough so um because this stuff I've been using for years so I don't even know if it's hydrating my skin anymore as much as it should because my skin's going to start maturing or it probably already is because I'm getting wrinkled but this is the essence I use it's the B Refreshed Essence Lotion and I'm thinking this is too lightweight for me to use I need something thicker and then on top of that my Simple Cream I'm starting to think whether this is even doing anything in prolonging the elasticity in my skin so i'm gonna try and research and see if i can just get myself like a nice night cream or something like that or um yeah something with just a lot of skin benefits in it um in helping my skin but yeah i was thinking and compl contemplating about that all day today um i don't know if i want to edit this video right now I want to but then I don't know I'm just tired um it was my husband's birthday today so uh but he's got work so we couldn't do anything um guys have you got have any of you guys heard this or watched this video it's a song by Tico and it's called fishy on me now my nephew and niece introduced this song to me and I cannot believe it has 24 million views I don't understand the hype but then they told me that this character is from Fortnite so I'm thinking okay that's half of the views probably but this song has blown up but when I listened to it I felt like I was going brain dead I'm not even joking I thought I was going brain dead I couldn't even understand what the kid was singing so <laughs> beats me I don't understand why it's so famous I think it's just something that's funny that's why and then somebody had done like a uh, one called Peely on me and it was supposed to be like a diss track to the fishy on me and I'm just like <sighs> people's creativity these days but I don't know if you guys I don't want to sound too negative but if you guys like the song I'm sorry don't come after me but if you guys like the song let me know the reason why you like it I bought these I didn't show you guys this in my haul I bought these, what are they called? AF Andrew Andrew Fitzsimons No Mark Clips. And the only reason why I bought these hair clips is from Primark and they were two pounds, you get four. I got one in my hair right now. I bought these because they're so hyped up. Uh and everybody's wearing them at the moment. And they look cool in other people's hair. Uh it doesn't look cool in my hair. So I just use it to push my bangs back. Uh, they're actually quite good. They don't hurt my hair or anything. They don't pull up my hair. Um, okay. I thought I'd just share that with you. The dindins for today.
in the camera, holding the camera. Alright guys, it's my birthday, my birthday. I wish it was. No, it's my brother's birthday and I've just wrapped his gift and give, I'm going to give him celebrations. So yeah, done.